Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. See doing chemistry. And today we are going to continue our learning, our uh, teaching on the periodic table. We will be considering the families of elements and today we are going to look at the transition elements. We are going to look at the transition elements. All right. Please note that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the best and only CBT practice app which you should have for complete and sure success in your examination, the O3 Schools Jam app, right? I do not want to blow the trumpet of this app too much so that you will not say, ah, yeah, I'm adding salt and pepper. But this is what you need to know. It has all the past questions, both recent and past, that you need for sure success in your examination, right? That means if you have this app, you don't, you don't need to buy any past question at all. Right? And there are so many practice modes on the app. There's a practice mode, there's an exam mode, there's a mock mode, right? That you, there's even a study mode that you can take, right, to what to prepare for the exam. Also, this app has what another wonderful feature called the UTME challenge. This challenge is what to conduct for all students that are writing jam each year. We will do this challenge every Saturday till one week till one saturday till the last saturday to go to your jam exam right so imagine that you are what competing you are what competing with other people to win prizes apart from winning prizes you are seeing your score every week every week we release your score after you part, after participating in the challenge and then you will see your score when you see your score you will see the subject and of course you will, you will be able to know which subject you are not doing well and which subject you need to improve on before you you will do like six but before you even participate in like six of the challenges or seven, you already were confident because you're already getting used to how or jump would set this question. It becomes very easy for you. One other wonderful feature also is the question search feature, which is there. Also, there's a classroom feature where we have an AI powered chatbot that helps you to what to study, right? So you can ask the, uh, the, the, the chatbot a question. Let's say you are you are, you are doing something about periodic table, you can ask, ah, is social element in 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 group four is social element the chatbot will be interacting with you as if it's real life right so wonderful wonderful features i do not talk about but please get the app activation as at the time of shooting this video activation is three thousand error it may continue to go up definitely but of course for now it's the three thousand error please jump on the app download and activate the app is also available for pc for computer for your laptop in case you want to watch use laptop to practice all you need to do it was messages number on WhatsApp 091215152 in case you want to activate your app for activation or for what for the PC version just send a message on WhatsApp don't call don't need to go call just send a message on WhatsApp and you will get a favorable response all right now let's go back to why we are here today which is the transition element the transition elements are those elements that occupy the interval between group 2a and group 3a of the periodic table right they occupy the interval between what group 2a and what group 3a of the periodic table they are sandwiched between what these two groups all right like you this is uh, let's say this is the periodic table we have something like this they will now have to handle something like this on the other side all right then you know you know i continuous now then in between here right we have what the transition elements the transition with elements all right so these are what the transition elements they are in between what group 2a this is 2a of course and this is 3a all right and in the previous videos i've already taught you about how we do numbering of the groups in the periodic table that I also clear the words the 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 erroneous view that oh, there are there are eight groups in the periodic table no there are 18 groups in the periodic table 18 there are 18 group according to the international union of pure and applied chemistry are you back all right so please make sure you have watched all the previous episode before what you join us in this class so these are the transition elements that are sandwiched between group 2a and what and group 3a of the periodic table they are also called the d block elements d block elements and why are they called the d block elements they are called the d block elements because their atomous shares reside so the atomous electron rather their atomous electron atomous electron resides in the d orbital all right their atomous electron uh, electron resides in the, in the d orbital soon i'm going to tell you uh, show you the first 10 transition metals 
and of course i'm going to show you the electronic configuration right and their group distribution so that you you will see that what most of the electronic configuration are going to write the last electron will be in what in the d orbital so most of the transition metals in fact for <laughs> sorry all transition metals right the outermost electron is in what is in the d what orbital that's why we call them the d block elements we call them the d block elements now i will know that it is very expedient it is very necessary to make sure that you have liked this video if you have not liked this video what you are doing is very very wrong right just click on that like button below this video something that looks like this just click on this palm that's all right it will make other students to easily find this video and also learn like you are learning now also if you have not subscribed to this channel you are doing yourself because what subscription will notify you to notify you that's what will have published any new video so anytime we release any new video if you have subscribed right you will get a notification on your phone and subscription is free to this for this channel so you don't need to worry yourself too much so please click on the subscribe button and make sure you share this video so now it is necessary to know also that what these d orbitals right these d what orbitals are incomplete are incomplete they are mostly what incomplete these d orbitals are mostly what incomplete now when it comes to what the d orbitals right d orbitals are stable when they are partially filled partially filled that is you have three d5 right or when they are what completely filled completely filled that's when it have a 3d10 all right so please note this the d orbital is what is stable when what it is partially filled by having what electronic configuration of what 3d5 at the end or what when it's completely filled having a configuration of a 3d10 at what at the end all right so now with that knowledge now it is necessary to know that what these d orbitals are mostly what incomplete and this is what accounts and this is what account for many of their characteristics these diopters are mostly what incomplete and this is what account for many of their characteristics like for example uh some characteristics that you will encounter about transition elements is one one they have what variable oxidation states all right they have a variable what oxidation state the oxidation states will vary vary a lot all right also they are it's also account for their use as catalyst all right it also account for their ability to form coordination compounds to form coordination compounds or complexes all right it's also account for the ability to form colored ions colored ions it also accounts for their high tensile strength high tensile strength all right so these are what the the uh the d orbitals because of what because of their incompleteness because they are not what completely filled all right it's what account for several of their characteristics such as we have seen here very poor oxidation states used as catalyst right ability to form coordination compounds or complexes ability to form color the ions and even high tensile what strength all right so if you are asked what is the reason behind what uh transition element having what uh, um high tensile strength or ability to form color the ions or you being used as catalyst or having various oxidation states the reason is because the d orbitals of the transition elements are not what are mostly what incomplete they are mostly what incomplete this is the reason that accounts for many of their characteristics all right now having known that that now it is not time for us to what to talk about what some of these transition metals let's go at the first 10 transition metals all right i think that would be enough for this class First 10 transition metals, look at their group distribution, their what? Their electronic configuration, their atomic what numbers. All right. So let's quickly look at that and we'll be smiling out of this class. All right. Now, if we have group here, group. All right. Then here we have atomic number. Then here, of course, we have element. And then here we have electronic configuration 
all right now let's look at the first element that's all that first element will be because you know we have one a this is one a have two a so the first element in the transition still will be what will be three b all right following the system of naming that we have been taught in previous episodes i'm not going to go back to it there's no way i'm going to go back to it right we have treated that and that is that, that for that please go back to that video and watch it all right now so the, the first what group will be what group 3b all right that would be atomic number 21 and the element is candium now the electronic configuration of elements the electronic configuration of elements can be written as if they are in group zero they can be written as if they are what noble gases they can be written as if they are what inert gases all right so now that is what we are going to employ here when we are doing electronic configuration i've already thought about that right how you can what uh, write the electronic configuration of element to as if it was what it was a noble gas or it was what it was an inert what uh, element all right so now let's see scandium has 21 electrons all right so now that means normally the electronic configuration will be what is2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 all right it's already what 18 then 4s2 3d1 all right this is normally supposed to be what the electronic configuration of scandium because it has what 21 watt electrons all right now if you, if you add 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 6 9 plus 2 11 plus 17 uh, sorry plus 6, plus 6 17 plus 2 19 19 plus 2 is 21 you see it's complete this is the electronic configuration of scandium but we can write the electronic configuration of scandium to behave as if it was what it was in group zero all right as if it was what it was a noble gas or an inert gas so now we can take from here to here all right this is what it's 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18 the 18th element is what is argon argon is a what is a group zero what element so we can use what argon to represent what this so this is what argon in bracket then we now have what 4s2 and what 3d1 i hope that is clear so this is what we are going to what use to what to write all the electronic configurations as we proceed today all right so that so that scandions will be what argon 3s2 sorry that is not just to 4s2 3d1 all right i hope we are clear so argon is 18 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 1 is 21 all right this is the electric configuration for what for scandium now we'll go to the next element which is titanium that will be what now 4b element 22 titanium the 22nd element will now be what now ar 4s2 3d2 hope we are clear now we'll go to the next element which is vanadium that is what 5b 23 vanadium all right so i'm going to have a two comparison to be what ar 4s2 3d what 3 all right then we'll go to the next element which is what chromium that is 6b 24 you have chromium all right so that is what the 24 element so a true conversion will be what ar 4s2 3d4 all right now because if as you can see this is not still stable and i have told you earlier that what well, the d orbital is stable when it is partially filled that is having 3d5 or what when it is completely filled that is having what 3d or 10 electronic configuration right now that means that what we can make what this chromium what stable we can make it stable by promoting how do we make it stable by promoting one electron from the 4s orbital to the to the world to the world to the d what orbital if you pro promote one electron from s orbital to d orbital d will become what five s will become what one so we can also rewrite this to be what 4s1 right 3d5 all right so in this case now chromium becomes what stable now i haven't seen chromium let's see magnus that is 7b 25 magnes all right so a arrow we are going to have 4s2 all right i'm going to have what 3d5 all right for magnes 
4s to 3d5 so this one is also was stable because it has partially filled what d orbital this also has what partially filled d orbital okay so after magnets now we see ion now after 7b we have what it so of course if you do not go back and watch what how we name them i will name those group i will number them that is your own we have treated it in the previous episode please go and watch them so that is what element 26 and that is ion all right so this is what a arrow 4s to 3d6 of course and of course after ion is cobalt it again so we have 27 cobalt all right that'll be what a arrow 4s to 3d7 all right after cobalt okay after cobalt is nickel so i'm going to have eight again eight 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 this is 28 nickel all right then i'm going to have what argon 4s to 3d8 all right so uh we have seen what eight 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 so the next one will be one b one b and after nickel is uh after nickel is cobalt nickel after nickel is copper so i'm going to have what one b that is what 29 now you have copper all right so i'm going to have what electric configuration a arrow 4s to 3d9 all right instead of 4s to 3d9 we can make copper stable all right then we can also write this as well 4s1 3d10 we promote one electron from the s orbital to the what to the d orbital then of course the uh the next one is what is 2b which is what 30 of course that is what zinc all right so the configuration of what a arrow 4s to 3d 10 all right so these are the first 10 transition what elements that what that you have all right and this is what they are group dis distribution this is the atomic number and this is what is the electronic configuration all right so i've already told you earlier that what transition elements are also called what the d block element and the reason is because the the atoms what electrons reside in the d block all right my name remains Ola thank god and in the next class we are going to what finish our last what part of what period table which is the actinides and the lactonides series and i'd love to see you in that class thanks for watching